Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Welcome to uh, the class KOT 1 to 2, uh, Organic Chemistry Level 1, which is a very interesting uh, subject and also quite difficult. But uh, believe me, uh, the rate of failure is almost 0%. Okay, nobody fail except if you playing around during my teachings or during the test or during the exams, it will happen to you. So, okay, uh, welcome everybody. Now we have a huge uh, class numbers, students. It's around 375 students from around uh, USM, which is uh, a science-based uh, course. Okay, for example, from biologies, uh, what else, technology industry, industrial technologies, uh, something from meds. Uh, Ilmu pendidikan, teachers, and so on. Okay, most of them coming from biologies. Okay, so for today, uh, uh, I will do a briefing first. The second round, uh, I will do some a little bit about chapter one, which is uh, just continuations from what you have learned during your matriculations, A levels, and also STPM, and maybe some added informations uh, from what you have learned before. And lastly, maybe I will leave you with uh, some exercise, okay? And let's go for the briefing first, okay? I hope everybody are clear because uh, this course uh, we are covered in huge uh, students. It's around more than almost close to the 400 students. So, okay. Let's go. Okay, the objective of this course is uh, to introduce the nomenclature, how you can name the organic compounds and structures the organic compounds. And you know the structure. If I said methanol, you know how to imagine the methanols, okay? Um, the second one, to instill concept concerning electronic structures, which is a micro, micro factors in organic chemistry. And regarding bondings, how you can see uh, the bonding is uh, linear, uh, the shape of bondings, okay? Again, okay, acid and base, which one is acid and which one is base, and stereochemistry, okay? And the third one to discuss the certain types of organic reactions together with their reaction mechanism and short synthesis of organic compounds. And for the third objective, it will cover chapter number seven until 11. It's more to the applications, okay? Chapter number one and the six is more to the theory. And the last one, at the end of this course, students should understand the significance between nomenclature, the structures, and together with chemical characterizations, characteristics in organic compounds. And they all also understand and uh, the all relevant reactions about the mechanistic concepts such as substitution, SN1 and SN2, E1 eliminations and E2. Okay. So this is the our campus. I hope uh, within last uh, first week of your stay here, uh, you realize where is uh, the uh, Pusat Pengajian Science Schema. This is the old building built 1969. Okay. It's more than 50 years. Okay. So uh, this is the main entrance, uh, but uh, for this course, we are conducting online, including tutorials, okay? Don't worry. If you have a time, you want to visit me, just come. Okay, I'm happy to welcome you. Okay, maybe we can have some uh, cup of coffee after that. So uh, this is uh, about myself. My name is uh, Dr. Mohamed Nuru Azmi bin Mohamed Tay. I'm graduated from Ecole Polytechnic France, I have two PhD and also from University of Malaya with different domains. Okay, so I'm working on natural product chemistry, Kimia Sebatian Sumerjadi, which is um, close to the drug developments, uh, more to the pharmacy subjects, okay, medicinal chemistry and organic synthesis. So my room is uh, 235, level 2, room 35, okay. Building G09 in front of biological biological science buildings. Okay, 
uh, in front of it. Okay, this is my office number. Normally, I'm uh, I'm walking walking around the lab, so sometimes I'm not in the, in my office. Okay, you have my WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp me. Don't worry. Okay, and this is my email and and asmi at usm.my. So okay, this is about myself. Uh, I will cover quarter one. Okay. It's mean from today until I guess December. Okay. Uh from seven weeks only. Okay. And Dr. Yo, our, our colleague from Oxford University. So Dr. Yo Kaking, uh, graduate from Oxford University. The room is 222, level two, which is cover the organic sections, and room number 22. Okay. Uh, he will cover chapter 7 until 11. Okay. This is the reference book that I advise you to get it. You have two options in WhatsApp group. I already explained how to get it. They have two options. One, you can get the hard copy books. Uh, I have it. Hard copy together with access code. Um, the price is 100 plus plus. Or you can buy the access code, which is contained ebook. Okay, but personal advice: I prefer to have the hard book, hard cover, because uh, I'm the old school, so it's better for 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 me to feel the books. Okay. Okay, this is a uh, sixth edition now. So, uh, it's not advised to to have a four, fourth or fifth editions because the set of questions from exercise and also tutorial coming from this book to make it easy for everybody. We, get, we take the question from tutorial and exercise from this book. Okay, for example, we mentioned the page, blah, 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 and you can take the question directly because the arrangement of questions uh, is different when you take a different editions, okay? So this is a very nice book and it also uh, have a huge set of uh, exercise questions. And I'm strongly advised, okay, like mathematics, you have to do more exercise if you're playing around with organic chemistry. So, okay, for chapter one until 11, for, for, for today, uh, we will touch a little bit about the structure and bondings. And after that, uh, roughly, roughly, uh, uh, we take around, we have 14 weeks, and we take around one week, one chapter, okay? For the first week, uh, we will cover structure and bondings, so the second, next week, acid and bases, the third one, introduction as organic and functional groups, it's quite easy, you know how to draw alcohol, for example, if I said uh, ketone, aldehydes, you know about that one. Uh, alkenes, chapter number four, number five is stereochemistry. Uh, six, understanding organic reactions. Seven, alkyl halides and nucleophilic substitutions. Number, chapter number eight, alkyl halides and elimination reactions. Chapter nine, alcohol, ether, and related compounds. Chapter 10, alkenes and addition reactions. And lastly, alkyne and Regarding synthesis. As I said, chapter one to six will cover more about theory, and chapter seven until eleven it will cover more about applications. So seven, eleven, you have to remember all the rations. Eleven to one to six, you have to understand deeply about the chemistry. This is the topics of these chapters. Okay, it's okay. So for lectures, uh, we will do online. Uh, it will cover 11 chapters. This is very important things that you have to take notes. Some students ask about this one. So remember timetables, Monday, like today, 8 to 8.50 a.m. I have only 50 minutes to cover well, one subject, which is organic chemistry. Okay, not two hours, okay? I just set two hours in case it will, uh, it will take a long time to, to discuss, but it's only one hour, less than one hour, 50 minutes only. And 10 minutes gap is for you to change the class. And Wednesday, 9 to 9.50, Thursday, 2 to 2.50 p.m. 
Okay, there will be two groups. Okay, one group, a group A. Okay, A to N, and N to Z is a group B, which is the young. Okay, you have to remember any problem regarding your subjects for registration or administrations, you should contact Dr. Yang because Dr. Yang is the coordinator. Okay, for the lecture, we will be using this platform, WebEx. Okay, I will record the lectures and I will do some editing and paste and post in uh, our e-learning. And the concept is uh, for this teaching is like this. Okay. I will give you the recorded lectures, which is uh, presented by a group of lectures, okay? And you can refer the lecture notes and listening the, uh, the lectures because the content is quite similar. And after that, you come to the class. I touch a little bit about the topics that for me, it's urgent to discuss, and I will leave you the questions. And you try to answer the question and we discuss during the class. Okay, I hope it's clear. Okay, and for example, like you do your part for learning the chapters and so on, answering the question, and we discuss further detail about how you can relate and how you, we can answer the questions. Okay, and next, okay. The attendance, this is important, okay? Make sure you attend around 80% of the class, okay? Otherwise, I have to bar from you to take the exams, okay? The tutorial is compulsory, okay? Dr. Yang, Dr. Yang will arrange the tutorial class uh, soon about this one, okay? Uh, one class is around, one class is around 25 students, okay? Okay, for the assessment, this is very important. How we can, I can give you, or we can give you the, the marks during the exams, okay. The final exams will cover 60%. It will take three hours, remember, okay. For the first one hours, you, we, you have to answer MCQ questions, which is 40 questions. I guess it's around 1.5 minutes for one question. It's okay. Just... Baling Dadu, you can answer all the questions. Okay, we didn't get one. And after that, we have uh, subjective questions, which is part B. You have two hours to answer four questions. From four questions, you have to answer three questions. Uh, I guess it will take around 40 minutes per questions. Okay. And lastly, 40% for the coursework. Okay. This is quite important. Make sure you cover as much as you can. The coursework will save you from fail. Okay, 10% writing assessments. Okay, writing assessment, 10% tutorial. Okay, there will be four sets of tutorials, and you have to submit uh, submitted assignment, assignments, which is three to five questions. And they have additional question to, uh, to do some exercise during the tutorial class. Okay, 5% from for quiz, okay, which is MCQ, and 15% from test, which is subjective. Okay, this assessment will change time to time, and I will inform you later. Okay, because the COVID situation, we have to do some modifications. But this one, maybe all the tests will be, and also quiz will be the, will be objective. Okay, we will see how is it going. Okay, tutorial class. There will be a tutorial class. I think for this uh, session, semester one. Okay, uh, we will have around fifteen class. For example, one class we have around twenty five students. Okay, the question from books. These books. Okay. Again, submitted assignments, we give you three to five questions to submit. And there, this has another set of questions to do some exercise during the class. Okay. You can ask your tutors and lecturers uh, during these sessions. It's very important to make sure everybody understands about topics and subtopics. Okay. If the tutor or lecturer say, doesn't know how to answer these questions, you have and you can contact me. I will explain you in detail. Okay, we will do one-to-one -one classes. Okay, don't worry.
Okay, this is e-learning, new features in e-learning. I already put some information in e-learning. For example, like Farid said today, so how to find the WhatsApp groups. So I already make a WhatsApp groups, okay? You can find here, okay, in announcements. Okay, uh, make sure you have lectures, uh, WebEx links, and eh? attendance for group KOT, 122 group A. Okay, anybody who is belong to group B, you can find the link here. It's group B, namely WhatsApp group and WebEx link meeting. Okay, all notes recorded, I will put in Eden. Anybody have a problem, can text me. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Anybody who have questions? Siapa ada soalan? You can ask in Malay. Anybody who have questions? Ah, Doktor, saya ada soalan. Ah, boleh. Apa tu dalam buku uh, Organic Chemistry tu ada soalan tak? Ada? Soalan apa? Soalan, soalan exercise. Macam... Ah, yes, sir. yes, ada. We have a question uh, exercise, yes. Better. I see that. Sama, Azri. Okay, anybody have question before we proceed to the class, to the real business? Yeah. Uh, good morning, Doctor. Yes, uh, siapa ni? Isfa. Ah, uh, Isfa. Saya nak uh, tanya, uh, buku yang organic chemistry tu sampai sem berapa yang boleh guna? Oh, Ke... because uh, you are uh, from, from biology? Ah, uh, betul. Really? Uh, from biology, I advise you to buy not the book, just e-books. Sixty yes. ringgit because you only use only for this semester only. Oh, okay. Thank you, doctor. It's better. Anybody who are not from science, uh, chemistry stream stream class, it's better to buy um to buy e-books. Okay. Uh, I will post again the uh, the information about e-books uh, later uh, because. Some students just enter the WhatsApp groups. If you scroll up, you can find the information there. Okay. Anything? If you want to share the book, also can. I cannot force everybody to buy the books, okay? Because it's not, uh, it's not the policy of university. But if we learn something, it's better to have the books, okay? Boom. Okay. Perfect. So I will close this one. Anybody have question? Feel free to 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 interrupt. Okay, so uh, I will open real business again. Yeah. If you WhatsApp me during the class, I'm not answering because. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. Organic chemistry one hundred one is chapter one structure and bonding. So, okay. Uh, if you have a lecture you note know, during your A levels, matriculations, and also um, your STPM, you can use that particular lecture notes. Maybe the difference is only the terms. Okay. So, okay. Okay. This is uh, lecture outlines. Okay. The predictable, the big predictables. Okay. Uh, the second one is about the bondings. Lewis structure, I know how to do it. Uh, Lewis structures uh, and isomers. Okay. Uh, a section of octet rules, uh, you have to understand it once. The resonance structure, which is important. So next, determine the molecular shapes. And it drowning organic structures. Okay, nine hybridizations, 10, 18, ethylene, and acetylenes. Okay, 10, 11, bonding length and bonding strengths. Okay, 12, electronegativity and bond polarities. If they have the electro more electronegative, it will change the electronegativity and also polarities. And 13 polarity of molecules. Okay. So this is the atomic structures. We have 92 slides. So uh, schematic of atoms, uh, you know the original ideas about the Atoms, how it's formed is a nucleus in its centers and it was surrounded by electron, electron clouds. So, so uh, nucleus contain positive charge and uncharged neutrons. Okay. And the electron is a negative charge, electron clouds. 
So for the atomic structures, the atomic number is the number of proton in the nucleus and also number of electron surroundings. Okay, it means proton is equal to electrons. And the mass number is the number of proton plus neutron in the nucleus. Okay, for example, carbon okay, has six protons and six neutron. Ne neutron, yes. Okay, this is uh, six proton minus six is six neutron. And carbon atomic number is six, mass is 12. Okay, in a neutral atom, okay, without any charge, okay the number of protons equal to number of electrons okay it's related with atomic mass units okay for the ions okay ions they have two types of ions is cations positive charge and has fewer electrons than protons okay that's why we have cations and anions is negatively charged that have more electron than protons okay so normally okay so so for, 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 for cation, normally we have, for example, C plus and C minus. Oh my God. For anion is a, normally F a minus sign. Okay. This is sign a plus and minus. Uh, we will learn more detail in chapter two. So isotope. Okay. Isotope is a two atom that uh, have the same elements having different number of electrons. Okay. And isotope have different mass number. Okay, for example, uh, isotope for carbon, they have six proton and six neutron. Mm -hmm. and this is the periodic tables. Okay, same row have a same similar size. Okay, we have one A, two A, three A, four A, or sometimes you just numbering one, two, three, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay. Remember again the regarding the protein table, same row, similar size. Okay, element the same column row here. Okay. And same column, and the columns have similar electronic and chemical properties. That's why, for example, like lithium here, okay, like lithium here, we have lithium plus, like this, sodium plus. Right? Because they have the same uh, similar electronic and chemical properties. But the difference is the valency, the number of valency of the particular elements. Okay. So atomic orbitals. Uh, you have heard about the S orbitals. The shape is sphere. Uh, this is very important things. Okay. Orbitals. Okay. Bulat. Okay. And it's a lower energy than other orbital initial cells. Okay. And you know about the S orbitals. This one is a pi orbitals, P orbitals, and dumbbell shapes. Okay, this is the S. This is the P orbitals. Okay, it's a higher, higher energy than S orbital. If you remember. Okay, there is one S, two S, two, two P U X, two P U Y, two P Z, right? And you have to feel the electrovalency. Okay, now you have to relate with this one. Okay. So for the periodic table, the first row, this is only one orbital at the first shell, of course, okay. Each cell can hold the maximum with two electrons or one pair of electrons. That's okay, so why if you remember, they have, uh, for example, S orbital, you can spin, put the spin or spin up and spin down orbital, okay. That's why we call two electrons, okay. They have only two, which is heliums, uh, hydrogens, and heliums. Okay, for hydrogens is like this, one S. For helium is like this. Okay. This for this for today just introduction. Don't worry. 
For the second row, each element in the second row in the predictable also has four orbital available to accept additional electrons. Okay, one to S orbitals and three. Okay, if you remember, for example, <coughs> elements we remember M. Okay, you remember like this, right? And after that, this is the first orbital and covalence. And the second one, you have this one. Okay, it's mean one S. And after that, uh, sorry for my handwriting, two S, two P, X, P, Y, P, Z. Okay, this one, discuss in this one. Okay, the second row. Okay. Okay, for the periodic table for the second row, each of the four orbitals in the second shell hold two electrons. Okay, the maximum capacity of eight valence electron for the element of second row. Second row of the periodic table consists of eight elements, okay, obtained by adding electron to the 2s and 3 2p every the light as explained before okay bonding bonding is a is the joining of two atoms in the stable arrangements okay stable bonding two atoms stable arrangements <clears throat> two bonding atoms gain and loss okay okay you have to understand by using bonding approach we can gain and lose or share electrons Okay, to attain the electronic uh, configurations and of the noble clauses of the infrared tables. Okay. Uh, atom can form either ionic and covalent bonds. Okay, you remember the ionic is sharing charge. Okay, and the ionic is sharing charge like sodium plus Cl minus. This is the ionic. The covalence is sharing electron, for example, CH4, C. Okay, and if we convert to the Lewis structures, it's become like this, right? What's happened to this? That's okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. So the ionic bond is okay. I already explained about this one. So for the ionic bondings, okay, ionic bonds generally occur when elements of the left side, okay, left side, okay, metals, for example, okay, on the predictable combine to the far right side, for example, the halogen groups. And by ignoring noble gas, because noble gas is already of that and stables doesn't have an inert, doesn't have any pressure if we introduce an electron or protons or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> so a positive charge cation from, from the elements on the left side, okay, and a negative charge the, uh, from anion from element for the right side. For example, the easiest one is uh, sodium chloride. Okay, don't draw say sodium chloride like this. And A is totally wrong. Okay, it should be like this. Okay, or oh, like this. I'm quite fussy about the how you draw the structures. Okay, for example, if you accidentally during the exam, drop the pen like this. For example, uh, I assume this is one electron. Okay. This, uh, or accidentally you draw like this. It's meaning, giving the meaning to me is a negative charge. So be, be, be careful when you try to draw the 
the structures. Okay. So for the ionic bonding, okay, for example, lithium it one electron to make lithium plus, okay, for example, like this, uh, can no electron be second shell, of course. Okay. However, it be complete first shares by extract <coughs> the fluorines, because fluorine have extra electrons. Okay, for example, lithium plus, okay, like this, the fluorine, like this. You remember that? Right? Lithium one. Chlorine, and after that, you have to cross this become lithium. All right. Okay. Remember how, how to do it. Okay. So, for the covalent bonding, okay, okay, when with the element like carbon in the middle of tables, okay, uh, predictables, with the element that have similar electron negativity, okay, covalent bonds also. Okay, between two are the same elements. Okay, for example, hydrogens. Okay, this is the easiest way. Hydrogens. Okay, because hydrogens have one electrons, sharing with another hydrogens to become H two. Same goes to the chlorine. Chlorine. You withdraw as a Lewis structure. See that? Two. That's why chlorine cannot form independently, they have to form in gases. Okay. A covalent bond is a two electron bond and a compound with covalent bond called molecules. This is the molecule hydrogen, this is the molecule <coughs> chlorine. Okay, this is the explanation about the covalent bondings. Uh, hydrogen form from one covalent bonds. When two hydrogen atoms are joined in bond, each has a field valence shells of two electrons. Okay, already explained about this. Uh, valence electrons, second row of elements can have not more than eight electrons. They have to follow the octet rules. Okay, for neutral molecule, this has two consequences. Okay. Atom with one, two, three, or four valence electrons form one, two, three, or four bonds, respectively, in neutral molecule, for example, BF3 in CH4. Okay, atom with five or more valence electrons form enough bond to get the octet, for example, like this. Okay, in this case, predicted number of bond eight minus the number of valence electrons. Okay. Non-bonded electrons, okay. When second row elements from, from fewer than four bonds, they are that consists both bonding on non-bonding electron and share electron are called lone pair. Okay, for example, we have this one, nitrogen, they have two lone pair, eh, one lone pair, oxygen, they have two lone pair here, okay, and this one have three bonds. This one is refer as X refer as a fluorine element number 7A or 17. Okay. Lewis structures. Okay. To be honest, uh, Lewis structure don't ask uh, during the exams. It's too simple for us. So we are prefer to ask about the uh, resonance structure, for example, uh, what else? Uh, we love to ask about the shape of molecules, uh, okay? Okay, for the Lewis structures, uh, electron, uh, electron uh, not dot representations for the molecules, general rules for drawing the Lewis structure, draw only the valence electron, this one, first rules. Protoning set is okay, okay, for the beginners. Okay, for example, they have two, here, okay, for example, hydrogen fluoride, give two second row element not more than an electron, they have to follow the octet rules. And lastly, give the each hydrogen two electron like this one. Okay, this is the bond electrons. So, 
third one, arrange atom next to each other. Then you think I bond together. Again, go to the first steps. Okay. Always place hydrogen and halogens on the peripheral because they are formed only one bond each. Okay. We cannot form this like this because hydrogen have only one electrons. So they have to choose which one they want to make a bonding. So whether in this side or this side. Okay. So be careful when you try to arrange yeah, the, the atoms, okay? So place not more atoms around an atom and the number of bonds usually forms, okay? For example, uh, nitrogen, you know that they form only three bonds because they have a lone pair here. So they can prefer to form three bonds only. For the carbon, you have to understand four bonds. For the oxygens, they have only two bonds because they have two on pair here. Okay. Second, count the electron. Okay, count the number of valence electron from all atoms. Add one electron for each negative charge. Subtract uh, one electron for each positive charge and give the total number of electrons that must be used draw in drawing the Lewis structures. First, you have to understand that this kind of uh, Lewis structure have to follow the other rules. Okay, so more than more than more than eight uh, electrons. This means uh, you draw wrongly. So the last one arrange the electron around the atom. So you have to arrange. And follow the of the rules. Okay. Sign the form of charge for all atoms. Okay. So for if the all valence electrons are used and atom does not have an octet, form multiple bonds. Okay. For example, if this one doesn't have follow the octet rule, for example, the carbon here, okay, you have put more carbons, that's why it's become double bond here. Okay. For example, carbon have to make four bonds. So if you realize they have three bonds only, it means they have to make a double bonds or triple bonds. Okay, formal charge. Okay, you have to understand how to calculate the formal charge. Okay, we will do some exercise after that. Formal charge number of electron valence electrons minus number of electron and atom, which is one. Okay. Okay, electron ownership. Okay, you have to read again about electron ownership. Okay, this is uh, the table for formal charge observed with common bonding uh, patterns. Uh, for example, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. Okay, why not other elements like silica, phosphorus, something like that? Because this is the organic chemistry. So we uh, going back to the definition why is organic chemistry. Okay, so you will know how. <coughs> what the elements that we are playing around okay so for example this one uh, plus it means uh, the formal charge is plus one nitrogen is plus they have plus one so because they we have an excess of in excess of uh, uh, bondings okay so for this one is zero charge formal charge because it's already followed the octet rules Okay, minus one is excess one electrons. Okay, one pair of electrons. Okay, for example, this one, one pair of electrons. They have here, one pair of electrons, one pair. So you we will see again this kind of formal charge. Be remember, uh, uh, make sure you know how to draw the formal charge because from chapter seven until chapter 11, you will, we will playing around more about the formal charge. So isomers, okay. <clears throat> What's the definition of isomers? Okay, first they have similar, similar molecular formula. Okay, different, different arrangement. Okay, this is the general definition of isomers. Okay, we will see more isomers, diastromers, enantiomers, something like that in chapter five. Okay, 
Okay, sometimes more than one arrangement of atom in a Lewis structure that is possible to given um, more uh, given molecular formula. For example, we ask you to draw all um, compounds that have a molecular formula C2H6O1. So you can come up with two uh, molecules. The first one is ethanol. The second one is dimethyl ether. This one is alcohol. This one is ether. Alcohol is R O H ether is okay. Uh, these two compounds are called isomers. Okay, isomers are different molecular having the okay, different molecules having same molecular formula. I don't know what I'm going to Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, and both we call constitutional. Isomers. Okay. Or in Malay, we call isomer kedudukan. Okay. So, uh, exceptions in octet rules, it's for elements uh, 2A okay, and 2B. Rho, okay, rho 2A and 2, 3A. Okay, for example, bariums. Okay, bariums. They have only, this is 2A elements. And boron is a 3A element. They can make only three bonds. Barium, uh, beryllium is a two bonds. Okay, it means they have uh, what I can say is they have uh, one S, two S, two P. Yes, this one. 2p x only and they have two empty orbitals okay but if we fill an electron there they will be uh, we have to put the charge okay uh, this is uh, for example sulfurs okay sulfur for example dimethyl sulfur sites okay sulfur also like sulfuric acids okay phosphorus we are not familiar, we are not playing around too much with sulfur and phosphorus. This one is more to the inorganic chemistry. Uh, third row elements, okay. Okay, uh, okay. for the resonance, uh, this is very important. Resonance, we love to ask the student about resonance. Uh, okay, some molecule cannot be adequate represented by the single Lewis structures, for example, like this, okay. Okay, and be represented by double-headed arrow. It means the resonance structure are called resonance. The, these structure are called resonance structures. Both of these, number one. Number two, we call resonance structures or resonant form. But prefer to have to say that this was a resonance structure. It is the resonance structures, okay? The double-headed arrow, this is double-headed arrow. This one, this one, this, this one is double-headed arrows used to separate the two resonance structure, it's mean from one shape to another shape. So from shape number one and shape number two, it's already moved very fast. Okay, we cannot capture that. The, 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 uh, in theory, we can observe like this resonance structure, but in reality, we cannot capture by using, uh, by represent only one structures, okay? The resonance structure are two Lewis structure having same placement of atom. Okay, remember same placement of atom, but different different arrangement of electron. Okay, we check again. Same placement of atom. Okay, All right. Check, 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 check. Same 
placement of atom, different arrangement of electron. Correct. Okay, because this one is double bond, already moved to these positions. Okay. Okay, needed resonance structure is accurate representation of this kind of elements. The true structure is composite of both resonance and we call resonance hybrids. Okay, these hybrids uh, show a characteristic of both structures. Allow certain electron pair to be delocalized over two or more atom and this delocalization at stability. Okay, the molecule with two or more resonance form we say resonant stabilized. How to draw the resonance structures? Okay, so we have an excess electron pair here. Okay, we move one pair of electron to here. And after that, because you have to go back to the original rules, we have to arrange all molecules in octet. Okay, so this one, they already have one, two, two, four, <coughs> six, and it's already 10. So we have to move this one to the up. Okay, and it's become the second structure. For the first structure, it's become to the second structures. Okay. And basic principle of your resonance theory, resonance structure are not real, okay? And individual resonance structure does not accurately represent the structure of the molecules or anion, only the hybrid does, okay? And the resonance structure are not in equilibrium with each other. There are no movement of electron from one to one another, okay? Resonance, you have to remember resonance structure is not isomers, okay? The isomer, two isomer different arrangements, okay? Uh, arrangement of both atom and electrons. Okay, you have to go back to the definitions, okay? Uh, the isomer is different arrangement of atom and also electrons, okay? It's mean isomers, I can think it's in here. Isomer, different atom, and electron. But resonance only different electron arrangements. Okay, that's why isomer is not resonance structures. Okay, uh, drawing the resonance structures. Uh, okay, I think I will finish here about today so you can continue um, learning about chapter one by using recorded video i already made i i guess around three videos for this uh, chapter ones and i will post some question to discuss on wednesday so i guess wait, huh? i try to If you have, uh, please uh, copy these questions. Okay, question number one, draw the resonance structure for the following cation, then draw the resonance hybrids. I will give more, you more questions after this, uh, and hopefully you can answer it, and we discuss during the class. This is uh, how we can do the, the KOT 122 class, okay? Finish, copy the questions. Okay, for today, we already covered uh, introductions of, thank you, Alistair. So today we already covered uh, for introduction of uh, predictables, uh, okay, rules, uh, what else? Uh, Lewis structures, and lastly, uh, the resonance structures. So um, please continue uh, by refer the recorded lectures that we already made. So I will post some questions, uh, maybe today or tomorrow. So on Wednesday, we can discuss the questions, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, anybody who have questions?
Uh, so 